It's Major Blood in the Cobra Copter. They're after Gong Ho. Hey guys, you might be surprised to know that one of the few classic G.I. Joe vehicles that I did not have was the Cobra Fang helicopter. And I had played with one when uh, I was a kid. My next door neighbor had one, but I did not have my own. And then a few months ago, you might recall, I opened a mystery box from Tony at Analog Toys. Uh, it might have even been over a year ago now. And uh, you can go back and, and find that video. I'll, I'll link to it. But uh, in the box was a pretty much complete fang, uh, but it had broken skids. The skids on it were broken. And uh, I thought, well, uh, this is worth saving because the rotor wasn't broken. And oftentimes the rotor is broken off. And that, you know, that's a really tough fix. Uh, but the rotor was intact. It just had broken skids. And I thought, well, this would be a perfect uh, example to save and put in the retroblasting collection. But I, I didn't want to epoxy the skids back together because that, that never lasts. And so I was just patient and put a call out on eBay and waited and waited. And I guess it's been about a year now. And I finally have an intact set of skids. So I thought what I was... Uh, gonna do here real quick is just try and get these skids out and I also went ahead and found the elusive engine cowling uh, the engine guard as well which was not with uh, this uh, fang but I found one uh, which is always missing you know this piece is always always missing so I thought what I would do is see if I could get this piece out uh, and replace the skids safely without breaking them, which is a tall order, um, and then put this fang back together. So let's see if I can pull that off. First thing I got to do is get this piece out, and it is, it's already broken in two places uh, before I've even gotten started, and it's got these very hefty tabs holding it, you know, into the body of the, the helicopter, and I don't want to break those off. So if I'm looking at this, you know, about like this, um, then what you're what you're looking at here, let me do it like this. You're kind of looking at um, these very very heavy tabs um, are backed up into into the helicopter, and so I don't mind so much breaking this one to get it out, but then I've got to get this one in without busting it up. And that's the real trick. So first I'm going to use a heat gun to try and coax this one out. So let's see how successful I am at that. You want to keep this heat gun moving because you don't want it to hang around too long on any one part of the plastic and melt it or warp it but you've got to get that plastic hot enough that you can get this piece off Might need something that will pry, pry at this. All right, I got to be real careful here because I do not want to mess up the plastic of this toy. The halves 
don't want to come apart. Typical Hasbro, it's all pinned together and, and friction, friction pinned and friction clipped. So it's all one way. So if I try to pull the fang apart, I could end up breaking the fang itself. Ha! All right, that's out. That's good. So we've, we've gotten that out safely. So now the trick is going to be getting this new one in without breaking these tabs off. I think it should just fit right in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was a lot easier than I would have suspected. But getting that, that first one out was a real pain in the butt. All right. So now we have it sitting on its skids. And it is nice and pretty at this point. I am very, very, very happy with that. So now it's just pretty straightforward. I'm going to put the rest of these parts back on. Uh, we have two rotors here. These rotors uh, just clip into the top of the fang. Nice, nice. We have our newly acquired rear engine guard. Probably should have done this before I put the rotors back on. There we go. Boy, that was that was not a fun fit right there. That was once again, it was nerve-wracking and that's the rare part right there. So that's now in. Really does give a fang a sense of completeness, you know. It, you don't notice it's missing until you realize it's supposed to be there. And then once you know it's there, you can't see it without it. All right. And then finally we have our missiles which fortunately 
are with it. And like with all G.I. Joe missiles, there is some lint and hair sticking to the stickers that are still on it, but I am glad that these are vintage original stickers, so I will not complain too much. Yeah, this, uh, this fang is not in perfect shape. It has a very strange looking kind of melted side. Um, I don't know if it was an attempt to put glue on it to fix the old skids uh, that damaged the plastic by kind of the cement ate into the plastic a little bit um, on this side, but it obliterated the uh, copyright stamp. Um, you can't really read it anymore. It's all kind of melted away. Um, it, kind of a, a neat little footnote to this particular uh, fang. And then finally, we have our bomb on the bottom. So the bomb goes right there on the bottom. We'll straighten everything up. And we have ourselves a very serviceable and very pretty Cobra Fang helicopter. Well, I know that was a quick one. It wasn't a full restoration and it didn't require a lot of TLC, but I have really been wanting a Cobra Fang in my collection for a long time, and it was only lacking one intact part. So when the parts showed up, I said, I don't want to wait. I just want to do it. I just want to do the repair, get it done. But I wanted to film it for everybody here on the channel so that you could see, even as simple and straightforward as that was, I didn't know what I would run into. And I thought it would be worth it for you guys to watch as well. Uh, getting the, the engine cowling and or the engine guard uh, was another big win. And I'd had that laying around for months. I actually found that before I found the intact skids. There wasn't a lot left of the original skids to work with as far as restoration. And because this vehicle is from the first three years of G.I. Joe, it kind of holds a special place in my emotions. And so I wanted all of it to be intact. I didn't want anything really glued back together. Um, it's, it's got its own story, you know, it's got the melted areas on the sides from what looks like an attempt to repair the skids decades ago, and it only succeeded in damaging some of the plastic in just a minor cosmetic way, but it gives this, this fang the same story as a lot of the toys in the Retro Blasting studio. It gives them that lived-in kind of feel, you know, it, it, these toys were used, they were played with. Um, and they have been redeemed, and here they are, you know, safe and sound in this, uh, this, this great place that uh, I'm so proud and, and, and blessed to, to have to work in. Um, so this guy is going to go right into the display case. I'm going to put a Cobra officer as a pilot uh, in, in this fang for display. And uh, I really want to thank Tony at Analog Toys for sending me uh, this fang because... Uh, yeah, I didn't have one, and it had an intact rotor, which was a very generous donation uh, because the rotor can often break off, like I said, much like the dragonfly. But the rotor was intact. It just needed some skids. And, and again, the skids are a commonly broken part on this, you know, obviously. But in this case, uh, they weren't hard to find. It only took me about a month of waiting on eBay, and they came up. Um, I was really thrilled by that. So... Um, Hope you guys have enjoyed this little repair, sort of a quick fix, I think, as Toy Poloi would say. Um, but uh, thanks for watching this, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.